after a four-hour meeting among his party faithfuls, FTC President Major General Mun Shamuntu announced a new shadow cabinet as the largest opposition party charts a new political path ahead of the 2016 elections. These are some of those appointed. Leader of Opposition, Wafula Ugutu, Chief Opposition Whip, Cecilia Ogwal, Deputy Chief Whip, Roland Kajinda, Attorney General, Abduka Tuntu, Justice and Anti-Corruption, Medad Segona. Minister for Presidency, Hussein Chanjo, Minister of Information, Nabila Nagai, Agriculture and Animal Industry, Francis Apatite. Local Government, Betty Namboze, Finance and Economic Development, Jeffrey Ekanya, Health, Lurume Baiga, and Internal Affairs, Odonga Oto. But signs of internal dissent were not shelved after Maverick lawmaker Odonga Oto turned down his appointment as Internal Affairs Shadow Minister. The Aru County MP had hoped to be posted to the coveted position as chairperson of the Oversight Public Accounts Committee. Basically appointed me chairperson. I did a commendable job. General Munto has removed me from chairperson. So this approach of rebranding the party, of having Besje out, of having Nandala out, of having Udongo To out, and having boardroom politicians, if we don't sit and revisit, then this is the beginning of the end of Forum for Democratic Change. We've, we've been calling upon all the colleagues within the party to do is service. We have got a bigger task ahead of us of setting our country free. Not everybody has gone into position that they would have desired to be, balancing the different interest groups, the different considerations, is one of the biggest challenges that any leader can face. And therefore, there is no way you, you could uh, practically satisfy everybody. Otto criticized his party president. The directions he's taking is too radical. You can't remove Nandala and replace him with Wafula Gutu. You can't remove people who fought the public order management bill in the floor of parliament at the risk of being arrested and you bring lukewarm politicians. So this revolution of changing FDC from a party where a government would deploy on the streets every day, today a government is relaxed, there's not even a single police vehicle outside here. It means the party is not going in the right direction. If you want to build muscle, you go in a gym, you lift weights, and you build muscle. If you don't meet challenges, you will not be able to build that capability of managing challenges, even when they are in turn. But the more you resolve, the stronger you become, if you resolve them well. The Bushen municipality MP, Odo Taewa, was also not happy with the posting to the pension fund. I have told the party president that I will first have to study and understand whether I can do this job very well. If I find that I cannot do it very well, I've even told the meeting that I resign this post. The other appointments announced today were those of committee chairperson. Kasia Nawadri, chairperson government assurances, deputized by Sasaga Isaiah. Alice Alaso, public accounts committee, and Paul Muiro as deputy. Ibrahim Semujunganda, committee on commissions and statutory with Faris Namayanjara as his vice. Winnie Chiza is the chairperson local government accountability committee with Maxwell Akoro as her deputy. Regan Okumu now becomes the parliamentary commissioner. I know some members usually cut the plenary. Some has, have some problems. So it's upon me now to work with my chief whip, whom I trust, Honorable Seseo Gual, to see that our team is going to whip members to, first of all, to attend committees, meetings, to attend plenary of parliament, and even inland trips to see what is happening. Yes, I want to thank the party president and management of FDC for going through a very, very hard process of uh, aligning and realigning and positioning and repositioning of colleagues and members of the party in parliament, even outside the party, who are to serve and propel opposition to greater heights. <laughs> 